Hi everyone, it's Josh. I'm here at the St. Regis in San Francisco. This is a hotel I've been wanting to stay at since they remodeled it in 2019 and it was closed for quite a while during COVID. But we're here, this is the rival entrance with your car. We're pulling right around here and the lobby's just gonna be inside here. Let's go check it. got off the elevators here at level 10. Now as we walk down the hall to the room, it's a nice hallway, very elegant, feels luxurious. And then here's what all the room doors look like. They have little side lighting here in the panel. Okay, now for the room review of the St. Regis San Francisco. We're in room 10004. This is the room with the two beds, two queen beds. Come on in. So it's very open as you can see, uh, but I want to start just to the right here in the bathroom. Oops. So uh, we have a beautiful bathroom, very St. Regis, very luxury. A lot of luxury hotels I've been to doesn't feel luxurious, this does. It has a very nice big bathroom with the toilet here and it closes off. And then over here, we actually have a really giant shower. And this is huge and it has the rainfall, which I'm very impressed about. It has the normal St. Regis amenities, remedy, and it has a little bench in the shower too, but very big, very spacious. The shower definitely inspires me. In addition to the shower, we also have a standalone tub. It is in the middle between the bathroom and the room, but these doors do close for privacy if you need it, but they have all the amenities here, which is very nice. The counter is very nice and clean. The lighting, I love the lighting. It is, the bathroom for me, it's perfect score, I'm really liking it. They even have the rope hung up like they should, which is a plus. Um, it is their free tea robes, which is required in St. Regis. They're not like as soft as other robes are, but it's at least there. Next up, as we come around the corner, there's a little place to like put stuff down. There's a little note from the general manager type. That's a really sweet thing. I think every luxury property with Marriott should have that with something in the room to show your appreciation. You wouldn't believe the hotels that stay at that don't even have that. They have nothing in the room when you get there, even for their most elite or titanium members. Now coming into the room itself, very spacious for San Francisco. It is huge, big beds. And the reason I wanted to stay here is because they completely remodeled it in around 2019 or so. Like this brown stuff, this really cool lighting. This is all new. This was not here before. It was more of an ugly room. Now they made it beautiful. Got the two beds, very, very nice. I believe they're queens, they could be doubles, but they're they're pretty pretty big to sleep two people each. I like when this is here because it's a nice place to like put your suitcase and open it up. We have a desk. The desk is really sophisticated, very nice. The chair matches the desk perfectly. I'm very into design and style. So does the lamp. The colors of the room just kind of all go together. It's almost perfect how they did it. We've got some notepads, some pens over here, erasers. Little things like that, very nice notepads. The complimentary bottles of water, they're the full size ones, which is standard for St. Regis, which is good. Also the little catalogs here. The shears, the really cool thing about those is you're actually controllable. So you can actually make them go up and down automatically right here from the control, as well as a blackout one, it looks like. I haven't done that one yet. Oh, there we go. So that one will do more blackout. But that's a really good feature. Every luxury property, especially where it's very expensive, expensive should have that. Automatic shades up and down. You don't have to go over there and mess with them, try to figure it out. Now behind me here is this whole wall of storage and it's very unique because I don't really see anything like this, but basically the whole wall has stuff going on. So the first part here is gonna be a little closet. We have a robe in here, lots of hangers, and we do have some luggage racks and umbrella, which is great. Next over here, we have the safe, as well as some laundry bags, and then uh, storage doors if you like have clothes or things that you need to store. Safe, pretty good size. And then over here, we're gonna have the coffee, or we don't have coffee, but we have a um, little bar, some drinks, little things for purchase here with the menu, some glasses, ice bucket. Coffee is available upon request. They'll actually deliver it to your room. We were also informed that they can bring you complimentary tea and coffee with the butler service. You just have to call the phones. 
Now on their website, it shows that only the suites get like true butler service. So like where they'll actually like, you know, come do your clothes, like press them or unpack for you, things like that. This is not a suite, so we don't get that. But th that's at least nice. They are still gonna at least do like tea and the coffee service if possible. Finally over here is the big TV. It's kind of in front of this first bed, but it's very good size, very nice. But other than the TV and everything else I just pointed out, the room is very nice and very impressed. Definitely room gets five out of five for me. I can just tell you right that right now about that. Like every part of this room feels luxury, very nice, sophisticated, the lighting, the carpeting, the beds, how plush everything is, the bathroom. It just feels amazing. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to have showed you around and I can't wait to show you the rest of the property. So check-in is just right in there. And now on the other side of check-in, you have this bar area, which is one of their like restaurants. And then just past that, that little section there, that's their other restaurant, Atria. And they have dinner served starting at around 5 p.m. And then in the morning, they also have breakfast. The St. Regis San Francisco is one of the most, if not the most luxurious hotels in the whole city. These are some of what some of the suites look like and they are so impressive. We didn't have a suite, but I still really loved our room and the design of the hotel. This is the straight St. Regis bar next to the lobby. And then this is their main restaurant called Astra. They serve breakfast every day and lunch and dinner most days of the week. The property also does have a fitness center. However, right now they do not have a pool and spa as they're still under renovation till later on in 2024. Now, while we were in San Francisco, we were able to go see the Golden Gate Bridge as well as a walk around Pier 39 where there's lots of shops and you can actually see the sea lions, which is a must if you're visiting San Francisco. We also went down the windiest road in the world. That is also a must do if you are in town. Okay, now for the review of the St. Regis San Francisco. So I wanna go ahead and start with room. Room definitely five out of five. One of the best rooms in the US I've been to. You know how much I hate walls. The walls here, there's not really walls. It's incorporated like it's either places to store things or the beds are built into the wall with the cool lighting behind the beds. Or on this wall, it's like the curtains with the blinds that go up. Very inspiring. The bathroom is incredible. Loved it. Room definitely five out of five. Next up, we're gonna do service. Service is gonna get a 4.5 out of five. As much as I would have loved to give this hotel a five out of five on service, and it should have easily got that, our check-in experience was not that exciting. The person who checked us in, unfortunately, was fairly new and did not really have that much of a personality, didn't really ask us any questions, wasn't really welcoming or smiling. So it just kind of dampened the initial experience of the trip. It was something I thought about pretty much the rest of the trip, that experience, because normally at luxury hotels, the check-in is just flawless. They can't do enough for you. They're very welcoming, very accommodating. They're so thankful to have you with them. It just wasn't the case here, which was really unfortunate, but I'm willing to give this property a second chance in the future and try it again and see if the check-in is any better. So service four and a half out of five. Next up is gonna be inspiration. Inspiration is definitely gonna get a five out of five, mostly because of how incredible the room is. This remodel that they completed in around 2019, between the rooms, the lobby, Everything is just so amazing, new, luxury, modern, clean. They really want all out. Even the elevators are just very nice. The hallways going to the room, everything just really inspired me. Also the views, good location here in San Francisco. Just love it. Next up, we're gonna do the review on value. Value is gonna get a five out of five. If I'm coming back to San Francisco, I value this property highest level. I would come back here. It's worth it. It's clean, it's modern. It also has some of the biggest standard rooms in San Francisco. Our room is 41 square meters, which is pretty big. Most of the other Marriott's are a lot smaller than that. So this is a very, very good value for uh, if you're choosing to come to San Francisco, definitely a hotel I would come, at, come back to. Overall, very great experience, very good stay. The hotel is right downtown. It's not quite walking distance to the wharf, but it's easy to get an Uber down there, but it is walking distance to a lot of other things here. St. Regis also has complimentary coffee and tea in the morning, served till about 10.30 for all guests, so that's downstairs. And then if you do want like butler tea service, that is something they can deliver to your room. They can bring you like some coffee or tea, complimentary. Uh, in the evening we did that, so that's another really, really nice benefit of staying here. When you leave the room, if you don't put that do not disturb sign on, someone will come in and refresh your room. And then in the evening, they have that turn down service where they'll you know, put your slippers out on the floor, get your bed ready for bed, straighten up your room, tidy things up. So that was really nice to come back to. Last night was a nice clean room with everything put away, very organized. Definitely recommend, definitely excited to come back here in the future. If you're coming to San Francisco, I highly recommend giving this hotel a try. It will, you won't regret it.